Hey, what is up, YouTube? Mongoose here, and here we are back in Attack of the B Team. And today we are going to be briefly touching advanced genetics. And I want to show you briefly how to get started in this. It's going to be a semi like tutorial like thing, um, but not exactly. Oh. So basically, to get the um, these, which are the skin scales, which I'm going to be doing a sheep today, um, you just right click and you get a skin scale. Pigs aren't the use, most useful in the world, if I'm not mistaken, pigs actually only give basic genes, which I'll describe very momentarily. Um, so yeah, I've been working on this. I am going to be moving soon to an area over there, I'm going to be building like a town type thing. Um, get some XP. Uh, but I haven't, I've done a little bit, just kind of growing bushes and trying to keep food supply up. And uh, down here, we have a ghost block. You can actually walk through it. Only as a bat. You can't jump or anything. You have to be a one block high. Um, so here I have my labs hooked up. And I spent all the time wiring it to the ceiling. I didn't make I didn't throw panels on to make it look hidden or anything. But um most no one knows about this room really. But uh yeah, I'm gonna be moving and I'm gonna be resetting all this stuff up over there in that direction, which you guys will see in a future episode coming up very soon. But to start ooh, it looks like I have a zombie genetic thing. Which we'll run through, I guess, anyway. Uh, so basically, to start off, you're going to put in this skin scale into the DNA analyzer. When you get out, you're going to get that white cell that I just got, and it's going to be like this. You're going to put that into the DNA extractor, and it's going to give you the helix. It's kind of worked out perfectly. Basically, then you're going to put the encrypted helix into the DNA decryptor, and you're going to get a outcome here of whatever you get. And you're going to go with the DNA splitter. And you put it in there, and if it ha it'll have multiple options normally, or sometimes I should say, a lot of the time there's always the basic gene. Uh, basic gene, uh, I'll describe in a second when I can. Uh, it gives you like one point towards the DNA breeder, which I've actually been working on climb, um, which will continue another time because I didn't get spider stuff. But I've been working on all this stuff a little bit. Um, I'm trying to get all the uh, stuff. But okay, so here's our cell of a sheep. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna. It's really confusing to get started. And we also have a basic gene. Oh, my basic gene's there. Um, I'll put that in there. We'll take this helix, and this is just another basic gene, which will help us towards our final outcome. So we're gonna work with it. Uh, hopefully, the sheep gives us what we want. This is basic gene or resistance. Okay. Did I start a new one? I'm going to quickly start a resistance one. This is for another thing I'm working on, which is the zombie one. Um, so we got woolly. Woolly is not what I was looking for. Oh, eat grass. That's what I wanted. I think the woolly people can uh, <laughs> people can shear you. It's kind of interesting, and you might be able to do it to other mobs somehow. But uh, I want to eat grass. So basically, I'll be able to eat grass for food. It's pretty cool. That's resistance. That's Base gene, the middle one resistance, put that with that. Coolio, pull that out. Just keep only sheep ones in here, because um, in about a second I'm going to describe why the basic genes are not as useful as the sheep. They're the, um, like the eat grass gene, because in the breeder you actually put it on this side. And I only need eight to complete this. So that means every eat grass gene I put in here counts as two and every basic gene counts as one so I could easily just cap it out with one like you know fairly quickly hopefully we get a another one though but they they are kind of easy to get into I didn't don't think I actually needed this many sheep genes uh, but yeah yeah this gave us actually three options I've never seen that woolly eat grass or base gene the woolly might be good to have yeah, I'm actually going to change the woolly, and I'll show you how these base genes work. You put them in there, that's going to start going through its bar. It's actually pretty quick. This one and the DNA splitter. So the analyzer and the splitter are by far the slowest. It's very obnoxious. So that's the woolly, which we'll work on off camera, probably in the other lab, actually. I'm going to have another cool DNA lab. 
this is just kind of basics of this um, grass. I'll show you how those work. Um, I should throw another basic, and I just want to complete this. I'll waste a few basic genes. They're easy enough to come by. Um, I'll call that because it's eat grass as well. Eat grass. I could do woolly because that would just make it so much quicker. I want to like put woolly on another animal, but I haven't messed around with trying to get blood from other animals or anything. Uh, but as you can see, I'm at two right now, and if I put the eat grass gene in there, it's going to jump to four when I come back. It counts as two. It's really nice. Oh, that's the pig one. The one I got for the <laughs> example. The cell in the extractor. Come over to the decryptor. Take out that. Uh, put that in there. It looks like we got eat grass again. It's just going to make this go so much faster. So that's going to add two more on the eat grass. Will, other eat grass will finish it up. So anything else I can do woolly or basic gene. I don't know how much woolly takes, so I'm not I'm not going to do any of that. We're just going to uh, take out this eat grass. But that's it. It's basically the process. Um, gets a little different here. I don't need any of this stuff on me currently. Up here, um, I have a syringe, and you do need a syringe to do this. So you're going to basically right click. It's going to Take you, give you blindness for a second, and take away half a heart. Throw this in the centrifuge. And we have our completed eat grass gene. I don't know how the eat grass works, so that'll be, be a little adventure. But Basically, I right now, I'll show you the genes I already have, too. They're pretty, pretty intense. Uh, actually, I'm going to put my inventory in here. <laughs> I'll die. I'll die. But uh, you take out that, and you go to the breeder, you put the filled centrifuged one in there, and the gene you're injecting, your completed gene, so my completed eat grass gene, is going into this now. And I'm going back to the centrifuge, and you're mixing that up. The centrifuge is just like mixing it, mixing the blood. And I'm powering this all with. Uh, my thing over there, I'll show you, I forget what it's called, honestly. <laughs> the Steam Dynamo, I think it's actually called. Yeah, Steam Dynamo. I have just a basic setup here I've been working with, trying to get some of this stuff going. I'm actually gonna put on some more. But, um, anyways, once you have this filled centrifuge with your gene injected, it's nighttime. You hold right click. You inject. You're gonna get nausea and we should have that gene now. I really don't want to waste this syringe because I hate making stuff in Minecraft. Alright so I gotta get hungry but while that's happening I want to show you the two genes I have currently. It's kind of intense. And while we're at it, you know, I'll fly over to the big castle in the sky. And we'll, we'll show that off real quick. Bex Castle. He's not here in this episode. I wanted to kind of do this little DNA thing with the secret room on alone, kind of. And there's really no need for a buddy in, in that spot. But yeah, I'm get, I wanted to get into Vench and X pretty early. Just kind of get, get them all set. And I found it pretty interesting that you could kind of play with your blood and stuff. And I want to get into the sync mod, but we haven't made our trip to the nether yet. That'll be fun. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in it. Um, should be over here. That's the old house down there. There it is. I haven't even seen this much progress. Uh, yeah, I basically have. He just added a little higher. And he had lava down. I don't think that was shown. There's still mobs. Still not hungry. I don't want that creeper blow up. But, uh, yeah. He's actually done a little bit of floor work. He's got these pillars. It's pretty cool. Um, he's going to have there like a floor, and then it's going to go up and do whatever up in this thing. But it's pretty cool. Is that a zombie? Yeah. It's a zombie. Well, we should get hungry any moment now. 
But anyways, I can get into what I have. So basically, I'm going to wait on one of them. But basically, one... I have teleport from an Enderman. Oh, that was really bad side to teleport title. <laughs> but yeah, I can hit Y, and it's basically unlimited Ender Pearls that you can just chuck. Pretty cool. And as a bat, you don't get hurt, so. It's gonna be really weird now. Glitch into the wall there. But yeah, it's really, really pretty intense. I'm really waiting to get hungry, though. I think fighting brings your hunger up. Alright, you're gonna die. It's daytime. I'm gonna die, too. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna lose this XP. I really gotta get into liquid XP. Alright, we got a little hungry. So we can test that. I do want to test this before I, I do my other one, so... Alright, so basically you can go up to things. I think it's right click. No. I don't know how to eat the grass. Uh, oh yeah, it has to be normal grass. You just right click. And I'm full. I've eaten grass like a sheep. <laughs> and finally, the most amazing thing ever. And you'll hear this. That was me. But I can... Tap it really fast. And it actually destroys the blocks. I was in the in the water for that, so. And oh, you guys actually get to see the new base. My spawn's here right now. So I'm still a work in progress, have no way up to the second floor. Don't know if I'm doing a ladder or stairs. But I got into um, carpenter's blocks a little bit. With a bed and door. And the front door looks really cool. And uh, got the chisel mod for all the blocks. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at so far. I haven't added a roof um, or anything. But this is just going to be the first house. And there's a giant tree there. It's really cool. I tried to have my minions cut it down, but uh, they sat there for 15 minutes and didn't accomplish anything. But um, yeah, that's basically it. I just really wanted to kind of get into the uh, advanced genetics mod. And I think this is really cool if I'm around somewhere. And just eat. Usually, like, no saturation or anything. But it's like, last resort, you know, need, need food. Right click. I thought it was neat. So, that's, that's kind of kind of what I've been up to. I haven't really done much else. I did a little bit of the uh, stuff with the Steam Dynamo, the Pulverizer, and all that fun jazz. But I uh, haven't really gotten much into that, just, just to get the basic ores. I like to get into Tinker's Construct more as well. But, you know, in due time, in due time. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope it kind of taught you a little bit or whatever. And um, talk to you guys later. Peace.